Now, why on earth did I just do that? Do I do that every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock? Yes, but it also means that this week's dessert on Simmer Down with Danny is inspired by our friends from Bedrock, the Flintstones. Come along with us as we try Fruity Pebbles Cheesecake. All right, for Fruity Pebbles Cheesecake, we're going to start here at the stove. We're going to make the crust first. You're going to start with that. Add your butter. You're going to want medium heat. About. Then you're going to throw in a bag of marshmallows. Many are always a little bit better. Always seem to melt down faster. Now the trick to this, to make sure none of the marshmallow burns, you're going to want to stir this early and often. Make sure that as the marshmallows melt, they don't burn. Mm -hmm. Alright, once we've got that melted down to a marshmallow cream almost, you're going to have that kind of a consistency. Oop, there you go. We're going to get it off of the heat. We're going to take our fruity pebbles. We're going to mix it up. Mm -mm. All right, once our cereal is mixed in, it should have, it should look like that, like a Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie Treat. So now we've got all that mixed, we're ready to put it in our pan. All right, so we're going to take a springform pan. Superstar. We're going to take a springform... All right, we're going to take a springform pan. we got our crust here in the pot. We're going to spoon it in. Use the spoon to pat it down as much as we can. It can be very hard to work with with your fingertips, so use the bottom of a glass and press it out. What other method you'd like to use? I'm going to use the glass method, so we're going to take a little more. We're going to build the sides of our cheesecake. This you might have to use your fingers for because gravity. When it's all said and done, you should have a beautiful shell that looks like that. All right, once you've got that, we're going to put it aside, we're going to let it cool, and we'll work on the actual cheesecake filling. All right, so to make the actual filling for the cheesecake, you're going to need to get out a hand mixer, a stand mixer like this. And then to the bowl, we're going to add our cream cheese and our sugar. You're going to want to cream it until it's light and fluffy. To that, we're going to add some vanilla extract and just a pinch of salt. Two cups of whipped topping. Be sure to scrape the sides. Make sure everything gets mixed in. good mix. <laughs> we are going to then fold in some of the fruity pebbles, mix it all together, then we're going to bring our crust back into the picture, and we're going to pour the filling into the crust, smooth it out in our crust, scrape everything out of the bowl, don't want to leave any of this behind. Now, the beautiful part of this dessert is it's no bake. So we're going to pop it in the fridge for about five hours, and then we're going to come back and we're going to slice into it and take a look at it. And look at all those colors. Look at that. Even more fruity pebbles. And when it's all said and done, it should look like that. Okay, so now the moment we've all been waiting for. Mm. It's the perfect summer dessert. That's really good. That is really good. Well, that'll do it for us this week on Simmer Down with Danny. This is Fruity Pebbles Cheesecake. We'll see you next week. Take care. Stay safe and healthy, everyone.